The MiG-29, known to the West as the Fulcrum, became the main aircraft for the Soviet Air Force and was a successful export aircraft for the Soviet Union. The MiG-29 was so wildly exported that it saw service in over 25 countries. The MiG-29 was designed to be mass-produced and a lightweight, cheap interceptor. The MiG-29 first flew on the 6th of October 1977 and entered service in the Soviet Air Force in 1983. The Fulcrum saw one of its first and major combat campaigns in 1990-1991 during the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, which led to the US-led military intervention known to us today as Operation Desert Storm. This is the story of the Iraqi MiG-29 and its controversial shootdown of the Royal Air Force tornado. According to the Iraqi pilot Captain Sehoud, on the 19th of January 1991 at Al-Walid Air Base, Captain Sehoud was on standby alert with his wingman, Captain Abdul Jabbar, and had arrived at the airbase the day before in preparation to scramble and intercept NATO aircraft. Two days prior, two Iraqi pilots had been killed in action when their MiG-29s were shot down by United States Air Force F-15s over Talha airfield. The two new fresh pilots were eager for revenge. Around midday, the two pilots on standby received a call from the Air Defense Sector Commander who informed them that an Iraqi P-19 radar site near the city of Hit had detected a four-ship of what they believed to be British tornadoes. Their destination was assessed and it was determined that at least one of the British tornadoes was in fact headed to the Iraqi airbase. The Iraqis, having already experienced what the British JP-223 bombs did to their runways, were eager to stop this from taking place. Captain Sehoud was scrambled to intercept the tornado. He was carrying two R-27R semi-active radar-guided missiles and two R-60 MK heatseekers. When Sehoud switched over to the GCI channel, he was informed that the British tornado was on his right and directly below. As he turned his head and looked down, he saw the tornado at an estimated distance of 500 meters. It looked to him like the tornado hadn't noticed him yet. He selected his R-60s and acquired a lock and fired. At that second, he claims the crew of the tornado turned and looked at him. This was the first and last time they saw me, he said. An explosion rocked the plane, and having only been 70 meters off the ground, it was quickly engulfed in a fireball on the desert floor. The Royal Air Force tornado from number 31 squadron, serial number ZA-467, was making a low-level bombing attack when it was shot down. Pilot squadron leader Lennox and navigator squadron leader Weeks were not able to eject and were killed. However, it's worth noting that Western observers dismissed this claim, citing that the tornado with serial number ZA-467 was actually shot down three days later on the 22nd of January 1991, and the shootdown was attributed to a SAM surface-to-air missile. However, there was another Royal Air Force tornado that was shot down on the 19th of January, a number 27 squadron aircraft serial number ZA-396, flown by Flight Lieutenant David Waddington and Navigator Flight Lieutenant Robbie Stewart. However, this was also confirmed as a SAM kill. We may never know the true unravelings of that day, whether the tornado was actually shot down by a MiG-29 or a SAM site. What we do know is on the 19th of January, one tornado did fall over the hostile skies of Iraq. How it really happened, I'll leave that up to you. Sehoud continued his mission defending Iraqi airspace and came across two F-15Cs piloted by Captains Craig Underhill and Cesar Rodriguez. Underhill and Rodriguez were pursuing another pair of MiG-29s when they spotted Sehoud and his wingman. Sehoud and his wingman promptly engaged the two American aircraft in one of the most intense dogfights of the Gulf War. The two MiGs and F-15s flew straight at each other, each attempting to visually identify their aggressor. Underhill faced Sehoud's wingman, while Sehoud himself faced Rodriguez. Underhill fired an AIM-7 at Sehoud's wingman, hitting him head-on and killing him instantly. At the same time, Rodriguez sensed a radar lock by Sehoud, throwing him into the defensive. Rodriguez drove down to the deck in order to confuse Sehoud's radar with brown clutter, hoping to shake the radar lock on his aircraft. After seeing his wingman killed, Sehoud briefly broke off the attack. 
Rodriguez and Underhill started heading south for a tanker. Having briefly disengaged from the attack, Sehud recommitted from the north. Rodriguez and Underhill turned around to face Sehud. Underhill got a radar lock on Sehud with an AIM-7, but didn't fire because he wasn't sure if Sehud was friendly or not. Sehud sliced into their formation, causing a classic merge. Underhill climbed, keeping his lock on Sehud, while Rodriguez stayed committed to the merge in order to visually identify the aircraft as hostile. As they passed each other, Rodriguez identified it as Iraqi, and each pilot turned left to engage the other. Sehud was relying on his MiG's better turning radius to get onto Rodriguez's tail. They slowly spiraled towards the ground until Sehud attempted to pull out using a split S. Rodriguez did not follow, and just before Sehud could pull out, he crashed into the ground. Sehud managed to eject from his MiG, reportedly with his crash site being merely a mile from the British jet previously shot down by him. <laughs> 